Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, today we have a topic about uh, the volcano of the Philippines. Uh, but before we start, I see some people here, they come and say, did you see this video made by a Muslim respond to Christian Prince? Did you see? My friend, don't come here and say, did you see and did you see? Either you are a fool or you are a fool. Because the one who want to respond to me, he should respond to me, not talk to himself. I'm here, we open our Skype always when we go live on air, and none of them dare to call us. And if they do editing for videos to make me say it's things I did not say, you can do that too, if you are a kid. So I'm not going to respond to kids. You can take my voice, cut it pieces, especially there's no video, it's just voice. And you can make any, uh, any story you want. So don't come here and be a fool, otherwise I will ban you. Here we do serious business. No kids is allowed. Those are a bunch of kids trying to seek revenge from Christian prince who made their prophet look exactly as he deserved to look. He is a fool. So if you are a fool, join the club there. Don't be here. All right? Here, they want to they wanna refute me? Call me. They want to do editing for videos and play with them? Do your business. No problem. They are Muslims. They can't do that. We don't do that. Now, our topic is about the volcano in the Philippines. First of all, I really love Filipino people. They are wonderful people and we pray for them and for their safety. Uh, you know, Philippines is a very blessed country with many things. Uh, but they have, um, you know, due to the nature of the country. The country, all of, it, all of it actually, I think, I believe it's a, it is from volcano. Um, the whole islands maybe is made as a result of volcanoes. So it's very normal to have those volcanoes there. And they are exist before Filipino are exist. Uh, because some people, they will say, oh, the Filipino are cursed. Uh, you know, I mean, people, they start uh, saying things. But those volcanoes are exist there for a long, long time. And you, you today, who exist today, have nothing to do with the volcano. You know, volcanoes exist in many places. And your country is one of them. Uh, but what uh, what uh, took me into like uh, I decided to talk about it. There is many videos you can watch them, and they are really scary. I mean, this is not even the volcano yet. I mean, this is like hello. So what come to my mind is, if just a little thing in the ground, you know, a hole in the ground, can destroy cities and can destroy and kill hundreds of thousands of people. I hope this will not happen there. I mean, I pray for them that that will not happen to them. But if this is a little hole in the ground, compared to the size of the earth, can do that. What if, what is Judgment Day? How Judgment Day will be? You know what I mean? I don't know why it's buffering, but from my side, uh, the internet is good. I don't know why. But what I can do? You see, I'm early morning here. Supposedly the internet will be... I think the internet is dropping. Yeah, you are right. Well, horrible internet. What I can do? I think I need to find a different source for the internet in this location. Uh, their internet here is not stable at all. Um, yeah, well, have patient. I'm not going to stay long. Obviously, the internet is not doing good. Uh, it's very bad. Um, I'll try to make it short. So anyway, I want to say first, I pray for people in the Philippines. I really love them. Those people are wonderful. Uh, especially the poor ones. Uh, but it is a moment where we think about what is Judgment Day is. You know, it is a moment where we stop and ask ourselves if this is what a little volcano can do. Look at this electricity is coming from it. It's amazing. 
I mean, it's really, there's tons of videos showing you, uh, uh, you know, those, uh, those volcanoes, what they can do. Uh, but uh, uh, it's an example for those who don't believe that if you think you have like a life will never end, if you think you have a solid concrete house, if you, have, uh, if you think you have uh, enough money to sustain you and protect you, look how easy the earth can be destroyed. Very easy. Um, so I hope, I, I pray, that all of us, we will learn something from this. And in the same time, we pray for those people who they are going uh, through, leaving their houses, uh, evacuating and uh, moving around from place to place, losing their, you know, the people who live there for all their life and now they have to evacuate. Uh, okay, well, I, I think I have to stop the screen. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, the internet is coming up and down, so I will end the stream here and we will do it again later.